Hello guys, today we're going to change the ignition lock on this uh, Peugeot 206. It uh, has some problem when you turn off the ignition, the engine keeps on running and the car radio keeps on working. Sometimes, sometimes not. So hopefully, this will fix the problem. We have to start with the seat. Some light is good. Here we are. Let me see. Okay. Let's start by removing this. Oh. Okay, that was easy. Here we have the ignition connectors, like this. This red one and this one, which is the black one up here. And then we also have a blue one, which I can't see right now. But then, um, you will take a look. We need to remove this. It has two screws, one here and one there. This uh, torque screwdriver. Oh, it's an uh, TX20. That was one. Here we go. That was easy. Let's see if you can find the other contact or if I have got the wrong, wrong ignition. There is some locking mechanism like this, and you need to. And there we go. And that one should be like this. Blue, yellow, yes. It's the same. Fantastic. Okay. You need to remove this first. Then of course, this one is the same. This locking mechanism. One small hatch, latch. Here we go. This one. Okay. Done. Remove this one. It should be down and done what do we do now ok 
Okay, we need to remove the antenna for the immobile eyesight. Carefully with that. Okay, here we have it. And then there's a stout screw over here. That needs to be loosened to get the barrel out. Okay, here we have the little torques. It's a small screw. This is how it looks like, and it is, uh, yep. And it was Torx number T15. Here we go. Here we go, yes. Let's see. Let's see how it works on this one. Okay. There we go. Okay. And this is the same. No. Quite so easy. There we go. So then it's just a matter of feeding the contact through this hole. And here we go. Yes. Let's take it out in the sunshine, shall we? Okay, let's see. Here we have the new one and the old one. And then we need to remove this. And I think it is two screws. Oh, there we go. This is the locking mechanism for the steering wheel. Oh, and here we have the new one, and it's the same like this, but it looks like it's in a different position. Oh, sorry, you didn't see that, maybe. This one was not correct, it was like this, so, yeah, now it's correct. And there are two small, you can see one there, and it's 
one there. They will match up with this there and here. Let's see if we can make them fit. And here we go. And there we go. Fantastic. See? You also see that we remove the key. Oh, sorry again. If you see this, if you remove the key, let's go in and you have to remove the key. And then bang! Locking the wheel. Okay, anyway, this seems fine. So let's screw it together. I get that. This screws is uh, TX20. Should do it. Old one. Brand new. <laughs> Looking good so far. And it's just okay. Are we rolling? Yes, we are. And a little screw, here it was, the small screw, I think it was here or there, I think it was there, needs to point in the right direction. Okay, sorry, we need the key. Where do we have the key? Here we have a key. Locking tab. I need to push it in somewhere. I don't know how you do that. This is the locking tab. I have to put the key in the right position. And you see, it will just push in. Place. This one was over here. It only fits one way around, so Smack in place. Oh, here we go. Done. It is this one.
Okay, it looks okay to me. Two on top, one on bottom. Oh no! What the hell? It looks to be the same but there is... Really matter, should it? Yes, it should. Okay. There's a plastic piece over here that it's not supposed to be here. Because on this one, it is not. Okay, I'm going to make a small notch in this one, so now it should fit, I hope. Let's see. Oh, ha! Like magic, eh? Click, click. Then it should... Here and there we go. And this one goes over here. Okay, this one should be on the other side. Like this. And it's just this. Oh. What is that true? This one. It was on the top. Let's see. Maybe it's a good idea to test it first. Let's see if this works. Neutral. Okay, looking good so far. But still the same problem, but it still works. 
Oh, you need to <laughs> have this one. <laughs> and here we go. Fantastic. This immobilizer is very important, of course. <laughs> Fantastic. Then let's put the screw in place and be happy. Okay, then the little screw and the torque bit. I use it like this. Here we go, and then I need some pliers. Where is my plier? What the hell? Oh, here it is. Need the light for this, hopefully. And here we go. Job well done. Then it was this immobilizer, it just uh, snaps in place like this. Plastic like that, bottom plastic, okay. It's a little dark, I know. There's some kind of a gauge, aha, uh -huh, up here, okay, probably. There we go, and um, here we go. Fantastic, eh? Now we need to test drive it. I say that was a job for about 25-30 minutes. Thanks again guys for watching my channel.